I'm Cal Gibson, I'm one of the owners of Quick Track Engineering UK Limited, and we make the world famous Shark Eye wheel lighters. Today, this video is to show you how to use one of our laser aligner four wheels. So, hopefully, you've already got this on your wall and you've purchased it, and this video we will show you how to use it properly. The presumption today on this video is that you already know how to do wheel alignment. If you don't know how to do wheel alignment, have a look at our YouTube channel. And there's some videos there that will show you how to do wheel alignment properly. So I'll reiterate this video is to show you how to use our four wheel laser aligner. We're using the Speedo van today, it's a new 447. We're using it because it actually needs wheel alignment doing on it. So the first thing that you do with our kit is you put the steering wheel clamp on. The car's on the ramp, the slip plates are open, the turn plates are usable. First thing we do, we put the steering wheel levelling tool on. We look, there's a little bubble on these, very, very good. And according to that, that's level. Quick check of the eye, yeah it is. I'm using our premium steering wheel clamp to lock it off. A couple of pumps, we don't need to, it doesn't need to be too secure, just so it doesn't move. We're just locking the front wheels in place for the moment. Now we're going back to the front wheels. working high, we're just going to put on the gauges. Make sure the level here is level. Just drain them up a bit. This top rim button here is for camber. Now this one, we'll come to that later, but basically that one's at the top of the wheel, obviously you can't put anywhere else. Make sure it's fitted. These two ones here are for your tire. You're up against the rim, make sure properly, put that. You won't damage the wheels, don't worry about it. So we've got one side on them. Next, put the rear flag on. The grip is at the top of the wheel. Move the flag out. Lace it there. So it can sit in the centre of the wheel. If you've got a bigger wheel, don't worry if they're sat up a bit, it won't make too much difference. What you're after is a nice fit. So obviously you do exactly the same on the other side so it mirrors. But as you can see on the gauges, this uh, Mercedes van, the wheel alignment is out. So we've got four green on this side, which is four millimetres out. And on the other side, we have 4.5 millimetres out in the green. So we have negative toe, so the two fronts of the wheels are pointing to each other. On the rear flags we have 12.5 on this side and with a guess without going round we'll have 13.5 on the other side. benefits of television we've already taken the steering wheel clamp and uh, the levelling tool off. Right we need to do a caster swing now and I'll show you why. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to go lock to lock. And then we're going to return back to where we were. You probably have to straighten the gauges up because basically we'll move a little bit while you're on. We're getting back in the same position. And we need to see whether we came back to the same readings we have before. If you haven't come back to the same readings and you've got a different reading, even if it's only just a couple of mil, it means you've got something warm. A warm steering joint, a warm pitman arm, I don't know, but you've got something warm on the car. There's no point carrying on until you've found out what's warm, what's affecting it. Now fortunately on this one, it's fine. We're ready to carry on. So that camber is the first procedure that you need to do, a pre-procedure to the wheel life of these gauges. Now we've established the camera's fine, what we need to do is check the rear axle for a reference point. Take the rear flag off, put it somewhere safe. I'll try on that later, but we'll put it somewhere safe later. And we put the laser gauges onto the rear axle. 
exactly the same way what we did in front, make sure it's sat properly and all the cameras and all the rim, all the tow buttons are on the wheel properly. Obviously you mirror this with the other side, power of television, it's already done. What we're doing here is we're checking the rear axle tow. What we need on this, we need zero for a reference point. On this one, we have zero on this side and we have zero on the other side as well. So what that means is this vehicle from the rear is going in the direction we want. So the problems that we have is with the front tow, not the rear tow. If you don't know how to set rear tow on a vehicle such as this, again, refer back to our masterclass videos and we'll show you how to do rear tow. What we do now, we move back to the front. It's a bit long-winded, but if you want a proper, accurate um, representation of how the vehicle is, the geometry of the car, you really have to do it this way. If you want to cut corners, then you know what you're doing, that's fine. But if you do get a problem vehicle, it's best to do it this way, so that you, you, you know the thrust angles, you know what the toes are, you know what the car is. And so with this van, the only problem that we've got is basically that the front toes out. The rear axle is straight, the thrust angle will be straight, so we know that it's going in a straight line forward. So what we've done again, as I've just said, we've reset the gauges back up to where we had them before the castle swing. We've reclamped the steering wheel, we've put the levelling tool back on. So what we're going to do now is basically check the cameras, show you how to check the cameras with the gauges so that you can get in your head everything you need to do so you can tell your customer exactly what the problem is. What we need to do now, as I say, we've got all the readings, we know where this vehicle is geometrically. What we need to do now is check the camber. You can do one of two things. You can either buy a very expensive HCCD aligner from me, from me that does everything, and again, it's the best in the world. You can buy a 3D aligner off me, which again, will do everything, but they're very expensive. Or you can do what I do and what I've always done, Use a smartphone. There's lots of camber caster apps out there. There's even a shark eye camber app. But for now, if you want to save some money, because I know you've spent some money on this, what I use, it's very accurate. I just use the measuring on my iPhone. So I just use the spirit level. Same as an inclinator. We put it on here. See where it is. It's turned green. So we know that the camber on this vehicle is right. We measure camber anywhere down this point here. Once you've got the camber rim on the top and the two toe ones all sat flush against this wheel, basically because this is precision engineered, it sits flat. So this bit here now is perfectly flat with that wheel. And again, just to show, this is all we do. Just check it and it will show green. Camera's fine. Do that check round the vehicle and you'll know where your cams are. Now you know what to do, you're ready to adjust the vehicle. But as I say, on this video we're not here to show you how to adjust the vehicle because we're presuming that you do. It's just to show you how to use the laser aligners from Quick.